Hey guys, this is Steve. Today, let's go through another lead code problem. Lead code uh, 1152, analyze user website visit pattern. Let's take a look. We're given some website visits. The user with username, username i, visit the website, website i, at time timestamp i. A three sequence is a list of websites of length three, sorted in ascending order by the time of their visits. The websites in the three sequence are not necessarily distinct. All right. Find the three sequence visited by the largest number of users. If there is more than one solution, return the lexicographically smallest such three sequence. Okay, this three sequence is a three page visit sequence. That's what it means. For example, let's take a look at example one. This is the three sequence is home about career. It's always three pages, right? Home is one page, about is one page, career is the third page. All right, so let's take a look at the input input is three arrays number one is username number two is timestamp number three is website it's a one to one to one mapping which means you see here user name this arrays length equals to timestamp dot length equals website dot length which means the first username means matches maps to the first timestamp maps to the first pages that this user visited all right, that's what it means. Now let's take a look at this example. The example is three sequence. Home about career was visited by at least once by two users. Why two users? You see the tables in the examples given on this. Joe, Joe, Joe. There are three Joes. One, two, three. Time step one, two, three. Home about career. Then James. There are four James, meaning James visited four pages at four different times. First, James visited home. Second, James visited cart. Third, James visited maps. Fourth, James visited home again. Okay, so for Joe, the the three sequence, there's only one three sequence, right? Which is home about Korea. But for James, how many are there? There's a total of three, right? So because home, cart, maps is one. Home, cart, home is second. And then cart, maps, home is the third sequence for James, right? And then let's take a look at Mary. Mary has three has visited three pages at three different times, and three different pages actually. So that is home about career. That is why the answer is home about career because this one is visited is visited by two users. Which two users? It's Joe and Mary. These two users, right? And although James covered three different sequences, all of them are covered only by once by one user, which is James. Right. Plus, James didn't actually have this sequence, which doesn't matter in this case. All right. So all that we care that we wanted to solve this problem is to find a three page sequence that has the most number of users who have gone through this. That's what we want to find. Um, the idea that came to me is that we can basically use a map. Um, one map is apparently not good enough we need to use a map of map and then a one more map to help us sort through the result so the first map that we need is to establish a mapping between the user name and all of the timestamps including the pages that this user visited this is the map so the the key of the first map is going to be the username and the value of the first map is going to be timestamp maps to the page so it's going to be a hash map or you can call it a tree map whatever i i think i'm going to use a tree map because tree map again gives us the sorting the keys are in sorted natural order right which gives us a benefit which is which is the sorted that feature of this key set right and then the second time we want to find we want to piece together all of these different three page sequences we want to find as many distinct three page sequences as possible. And for every single user, we we'll just increment one to this three page sequence. In the end, we can just find which three page sequence has the most users gone through. That's going to be the result. And of course, we want to return the lexicographically smallest three page sequence. I hope the algorithm is making sense. Um, yeah, if it does, that's great. If it's if it doesn't, let's put the idea into the actual code. Things will be clear. Okay, now let's start writing code.
Let me move this to the left a little bit. All right, so then we can see this entire thing. All right, first, what we need is a map. The key of the map is going to be the username and the value of the map is going to be a tree map. The, and the first one is going to be integer, which is the timestamp. The second one is the page. The name of the page is going to be a string. So this one, I'm just going to call it a map. It's not a very descriptive name. It's not recommended, but we'll see. Um, and then we'll initialize this. Timestamp length i plus plus if map contains key which is username whoops contains key username i if it doesn't and then let's put username i into this and new tree map in here and then we'll get we'll get this one before we can update it username i We'll get this one. This one is a tree map type. Tree map. Uh, so we cannot call this one map anymore. We'll call this what? Time map. All right. Not really meaningful name, but it's, it's good enough to differentiate this one from the first one. So we'll put time map. Put timestamp i. And then website i. All right. After we put this entry into this time map, we can again in we can we can put this. One. So this time map has been updated with the latest one that we're iterating on. Then we'll just put this one back into the original map, which is username i, and then time map. All right. This is the very first one. Then for the second one. What we want to do is we want to have another the, uh, the third map, which is we want to keep counting all of the three page sequence. We want to keep a frequency. So the key of the third map is going to be the three page sequence. We just concatenate the three page into one string and use that as the key of the third map. And the value of the third map is going to be the frequency. So it's an integer. Uh, I call it sequence uh, map still to keep the variable name short so not very uh, descriptive but it's fine i'm not writing in an ide which can auto complete and then so here what we'll do is for string we'll just go through this uh, string the first one is user that's the map that we're going to go through key set yes and then for this we'll just get everything out and time map, yes, user, this user, we'll get this user out. And then, so first, first off, we want to check if this time map size is smaller than three. If that is the case, we don't need to do anything because all we care is a three sequence, right? It's asking us to check for a three sequence of length three, so at least three. If it's zero or one or two, there is no three sequence. We can we don't need to do anything. Otherwise, we we'll just form all of the distinct three page sequences so that later on we can count how many users have followed this pattern. So let me do this. Since everything is sorted in this tree map, right? The key set of the tree map is sorted in natural ascending order. So let me just uh, take everything out. Uh, the way that I'm doing it is not super efficient, but um, it should be working. Uh, feel free to optimize this. So for uh, int key and then time map key set. Yes. I just times add uh, key. All right. And this is all of the times that I have formed. And then let's form all of the three page sequence, all sequences, form all sequences. So here I'm going to take in times and then time map. Okay, so here form sequences. Let's write this, this method. 
So the type is going to be this, and times is this. Is this, oops, I don't need this. Uh, and then time map is this. Oops, not here, but here. All right, now how do we form this? So just taking a look at this one. So for James, right, James has four, five, six, seven. How many three page sequence did James have? It has a total of three distinct three page sequence, which is home cart maps, home cart home, and then cart maps home, right? So this is how we can find it. So in I, Small than i smaller than times size minus two i plus plus and then a nested for loop i plus one right uh, j so j yeah j will start from i plus one and then j smaller than times size minus one j plus plus and then even nested into k equals j plus 1 k smaller than times size all right k plus plus so here we can just use let's see let's form a result here result right here so if this is the case of result at what are we going to add we're going to add time map get times get i all right this is the first one we just use this string to as a delimiter or concatenator and then next one so this is the first page that this user visited and then let's concatenate the second page which is j and then let's concatenate the third page which is k all right and then let's return result so this is all of the three page sequences that this user is going to form has visited right so then when this formed we can just do the math we can add up all of the frequencies all of the count that each user has visited what we want to make sure that for every single user, user, so this outer for loop, we're traversing every single user, right? We want to make sure that we every user gets counted only once. Say, for example, if a user traverses this pattern, this three page sequence, two or three or four times, we can only count it as once because this is just one user. The same user traverses the, the same pattern for three times, we can only count it as one. So here, I'll just introduce a simple hash set uh visited all right hash set four let's just count all of the sequence sequence all six if visited add sequence if we can add this one this means we have never encountered this sequence yet for this user then we can just increment the frequency the count of this sequence all right now let's do that which is this sequence map put sequence and then we'll get it get our default sequence default is zero plus one all right so this is the sequence map that we have updated for this user all right after this for loop finishes where is it it's here so all the data all the information that we need is stored in this sequence map so we only need to traverse through this sequence map to find the three page sequence that has been visited has been followed by the most number of users i'll just use count here start from zero uh, another one i'll just call it result initialize to be empty string and then we can just go through this uh, let me copy this Se sequence map sequence map keys key set so if sequence map get key is greater than count all right then we got a new 
more popular three page sequence and then we'll just use get key and then the result is going to be key right otherwise what we want to check if it's if this count is equal to the current count get key equals count and then we want to check if this one is lexicographically smaller right so if key compares compared to this compared to result is smaller that means we'll also update this one because we want to return a lexicographically smaller one smallest lexicographically smallest this is string comparison right all right and then in the end what do we want to do we want to return this type the three page sequence is broken up into three strings all right i'll just call it a uh, all right what do we call it uh, three sequence all right let's just put it this way realist now okay so this now for string as this one the result can be split by this delimiter now we'll just add this every single one every single one of them into this that's it we now we can just return this three sequence right now let's let me hit Ranko to see if it compiles no it doesn't line 56 what is this uh yeah i'm missing something here semicolon one more it's just not readable here what am i missing this one matches to that this one matches to that all right this is the this is yeah this is correct this is correct this is correct so i'm not exactly sure what i'm missing 57 what is missing times times yeah i j and k so that is correct how about time map i try to get it oh i think i'm missing this thing here no wonder silly okay a different one line 22 list integer form all sequence where is my form all sequence it's a string times list integer did i put it wrong oh integer this should be integer all right let me run okay accept it cool now let me hit submit all right yeah it's accepted it's not super it's not impressive at all nine and five really bad huh 34 and 36 apparently this is not a super ideal solution but at least i feel the logic is pretty clear and straightforward to to follow so hopefully it makes sense also feel free to optimize this of course this code is not perfect it actually it's far from perfect a lot of optimizations could be done here so feel free to comment down below see how you guys can optimize this i'm happy to see how you guys come up with different ideas to approach this problem or just to completely scratch this and write your own solution i'm happy to see that just comment down below and let, let me know uh yeah that's all for this video hopefully it does help in some extent uh, if that's the case please do me a favor and hit the like button that's going to help me out tremendously i really appreciate that and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as i have accumulated quite a lot of different videos about data structures lead code algorithms interview amazon web services certification exams all things technical related uh yeah that's it for this video so hopefully i'll just see you guys in a few seconds you can see my other videos thank you very much for watching